Hey everyone, it's me, Psychedelli Babe, and in today's video, we're going to be focusing still on the Pro Scan by JBL. Now, we're not going to be going into too much detail regarding the scan and the card itself because we've covered that in our previous videos, so we know pretty much about that. In today's video, we're going to be focusing more on the app itself because it's a lot more than what I've actually shown you so far. Now I've just downloaded an app on my phone called Airshow TV so I can actually record the screen and you can see it in a lot more better view than what you can with this camera. So I'm going to switch over to my phone and I'm going to load up the app and we're going to go through it all and then we'll come back and we'll have a little discussion and we'll take it from there. Okay. Okay so we're on the app on the phone now and so I'm going to go through it all with you step by step. Now you should be seeing this ultra perfectly and you should be hearing me perfectly well. So here we go. Now before you upload the the app itself you need to go to the JBL website. Once you're here you need to go and log in. Now to do this it's simple you just give them your name, a few details, your email address and you're able to log in. Now I've already done this so we're going to log in and we go to my analysis now in this section you can see all this and you can see that it's empty there's no aquariums and no ponds have been created so now what you do is you go to your pro scan app you wait for it to load up now once it's loaded <laughs> if it loads I'm hoping it works in conjunction with this app that I'm using and it doesn't look like it does so I'm afraid I'm gonna to have to switch back to my camera because yeah because this isn't working oh yes it is oh yeah okay right now in this section you go to my analysis now in this section it says here to select the relevant water type and start a new measurements with continue history function enables you to compare your measurements with the plus and the minus you can add and delete new waters, keep the selection button briefly pressed to process. So we click the plus button and we're going to be using the 40 gallon breeder. So we'll just put in 40, 40 gallon tank. Click done. We're doing the aquarium. You can add a photo if you want. So we click photo and you can take a photo. Now we're not going to be doing that because obviously I'm not taking a photo of my tank. And then we click OK. Now, now that you've done this, before you do anything else, go back to the JBL website. Now, when you're back in the website and you refresh the page, there you have it. It says 40 gallon tank, what type of tank it is, how many litres and what the measurements are. So we click details and we go on here and we can edit. Now, once we edit, we can see we've got a 40 gallon tank. It's an aquarium or pond. So we can have either pond, aquarium pond or salt water. So we're going to go with aquarium pond and we'll save that. And now you can see that you've got all their measurements there. Once you've put your measurements in, you've got it all worked out. It's all fine. Then you go back to your JBL scan. Then you click on your 40 gallon tank. And then I'm going to get my camera ready because the next part I'm going to record on my camera but also have this showing up in the top of the screen. So it's going to be a bit weird recording on both but yep I know what I'm doing so don't panic and it also lets you see what I'm doing at the same time as recording on the phone. It's quite a nifty idea really I'm quite good at doing this. Right so we go to continue we go to start you know the rigmarole we get our test strip we dip it in the water for three seconds we give it a tap and we place it on the card. Now I can already see by this that that's actually a different colour from the tests that I did previously today. Now this is not from the Trophius tank, this is from the 40 gallon breeder. So we have to bear that in mind that all these are going to, this test is actually going to be different from the previous test. So we wait for the counter to go down, <laughs> which does tend to take a while but yeah only because I'm talking and it seems to be a bit longer than it actually is 
excuse me. But I'm actually enjoying this this Pro Scan. I think it's quite a cool little gadget. I think it's quick, it's effective, and it does, it gives you an instant result, which is what I like about it. Someone phoning me. Every time I try to do something, somebody phones me. Right, now let's take a picture. And I wouldn't mind, but it's probably someone with stupid PPI. Now, this is out my breeder. And it's given me 50 nitrite, naught nitrite, three hardness, three, 6.8, no chlorine, carbon dioxide. Details. Tells you everything that you need to do. You already all know all that. So you go through everything that you need to do. It tells you, recommends everything for your tank, blah, blah, blah. Now, once we've done all that, we go back and we go back again and we save that reading. And it puts it up in this neat little bar, as you can see. Now, this little dot here that you can see moving, that should be in the middle. Now, it's in the middle for my pH and for my nitrate. So, I do need to do a water change on that tank because it's pretty obvious with that. It hasn't been, I've got to admit, I haven't done a water change on it in over a week. So, that probably is right. So, there's the results. And now, when we go back to the JBL website, and we refresh the page, and we submit everything again, we see that we've got a measurement. It gives you the eye date, it gives you the date, it gives you the source, and it gives you the reading. Now I'm actually gonna do a big water change <laughs> on my breeder tank, and I'll probably do another test on it tomorrow, and hopefully the readings will come up a lot better, but yeah. Judging by this scan, all my tanks need changing. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to add the rest of the tanks to this app because you can add more than one. You can add multiple tanks. I'm going to add all mine to it and then I'm going to start doing all my water tests and putting all my measurements in properly and we'll see if it's any different. So I'm going to close the app on my phone. If I can remember how to do it. <laughs> okay, so there you have it. That is the quickest and easiest way of using the ProScan app on your phone. It's got the way it records everything, it keeps all the dates, and yeah, from what I've found, it's pretty good. Now, I know a lot of you are comparing it to other test kits. Now, I've got to say that every test kit that you seem to buy it has one missing whether it's ammonia or testing your water hardness i've noticed that each test has one thing missing so don't rule out the jbl pro scan because this works well in conjunction with other water test kits so there might be something on the pro scan that isn't available in another test kit so it's good to have the two of them and um, while you're waiting your five minutes for your other test kit it's you can just do a pro scan and it's done it's quick it's simple it gives you a reading and if you're not happy with the reading you know you can always take another one or go with another test kit but it is worth bearing in mind that it is a good test kit it's worth buying if not anything else it's worth buying just to mess around with it and test it out and if you don't like it you don't have to purchase further test strips but I would definitely recommend that you buy it and you mess around with it a little bit. So that's how the app works. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I've got a lot more videos coming up. I um, hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you comment below. I hope you're having better weather than what I'm having. It's absolutely lashing it down here in Liverpool at the moment. So instead of my vlog this week, I'll probably be doing more water tests. So from me in Liverpool, and I hope you have a great day, whatever you're doing. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Bye.